previously on Mang's Math. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so, yeah, so this time around, I'm fairly certain my strategy should work, so... More or less HP than other people. God fucking <laughs> damn it! I think I'm going to neglect your advice, just this one. Always a good idea. Uh, occasionally, I am right and you are wrong, like with Anna. I'm wrong. Oh, Mecca is wrong, Manx is right. Hmm, on, we have it on camera. Oh fuck, Something I think like you it. might- I think you might be right, Mecha. Oh, oh my god! I just retroactively me. won the Anna argument again. <laughs> this is why you gotta use your head before you blunder into battle. And now, let's continue where we left off. Well, I'm glad that Ira got the note, hopefully. Did she get the memo that she doesn't have to attack anymore? Let's see. Ah, uh, shit. So yeah, well... <laughs> Okay, so the only emergency idea I had was find one of your units that doesn't counter, so with your ID and see if they can like be the only unit in range of Ira, but you can't do that because you don't have enough move for these guys, so uh, Yeah. I uh, yeah. That's uh Um or Lex, because Lex is like very shit hit, so at the very least he should be able to like uh, have what, a about, what, about Ethlin? what about Ethlin? What about Nathlin? Uh she might not do enough damage, I guess. Uh she does. Fuck! She does. Too yep. strong. Yeah. Do maybe. Yeah, well, Duo doesn't. Yeah, you're right. Nine. He also doesn't get double, I think. He has um, 15 speed, 12, and Ira has 11, so he doesn't double her. Duo doesn't have pursuit. So you can use Duo. Let's try. <laughs> you know can what? Duo okay. cover Arden? Because if he can't, it doesn't really matter. Well, I guess Ira okay. will soon no, go no, for no. Duo. Okay, then. so what we do is I have a save, right? Mm, so yeah. if, she, if she kills. Yeah, it won't affect my ranking because she's an enemy, so I can load the save safely. So yeah. if if she moves back, we we progress as normal. If not, we load a save and we use Dew as a distraction. Makes sense. So, but first we need to worry about this situation right here. Um, would like to try and get their commander. We can't just stay and kill reinforcements all day. We gotta actually progress. As fun as it is. Well, the, the, the reinforcements spawn at the back, so you can kill like a lot of reinforcements and leave the cat on life for one turn or so. Yeah. And then kill him. Who do you and think? You uh, I think we'll, we'll heal Lex this turn, so I'll place Madir here. And then I'll go down and I'll count up again. Makes sense. I really think Lex can make it with just chip damage and arena. I think so too. I don't think we need to particularly worry about him. Like, occasionally okay, so you'll get a kill, sure, because you have to, but you don't have to like feed him kills. The priority should be like Quan. Medir, Noish, Alec, do. There Feeling we go. Dude kills his Harko. <laughs> it is, it is. So I think it, it does like three damage. Do can just like safely attack now, can't he? Should probably yeah, he try can. to get people who would. Yeah, this guy has a thousand gold. Mm -hmm. So yeah, check. You always want to check enemy inventories, and you want to go for the ones who have gold on them. A thousand gold isn't a lot, but it does add up. I mean, every enemy has gold to start with. It's just once Dew has already attacked them, they won't have gold anymore. Yeah. So I think we'll keep Noish here. I think he, yeah, let's focus on killing the weakened guys, I think. Well, if you left that guy alive, Dew could have killed him, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, we do need to feed kills to Dew. I mean, he can get the uh, Paragon Ring eventually. Should be pretty easy for him to do that. Do you think we yeah, should do practice. this and then place uh, maybe Finn in the Quan. forests? Or Quan? Yeah, why not? Quan is pretty tanky. I think he'll be fine. He's very tanky. Uh, steel lance, and then just kill this guy. Yep. And then we can. It's also very nice to get Quan a lot of XP for chapter two, because that's the chapter where he's very important. Yeah. You mean chapter three? No, I mean chapter two. Okay. Next chapter. Oh, all right. I tend to mix them up. And then we can also put Ethlin next time for lover bonuses. Again, the micromanaging at the wrong time. Yeah. Woohoo! Hey, this is good micromanage. What do we do with Arden? Do we just... Like, I think he should probably go down and join the others. Well, either Ira is going to wreck him, and it doesn't matter what you do, or Ira's going to run back, and it doesn't matter. So, I mean, what about that Brigitte? Do you want to kill him and get the gold, or...? Uh, we do. Okay, so yeah, Arden should go down then, I guess. Yeah, and Alec kills her, right, Brigitte. so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could go do this and then Kanto and go up again. Can you? He moves through one force. Oh, that, right? yeah, let's not. We can do this. Uh, yeah, I suppose. I think that's fine. I can I can count to out of it. But this is nice, because exactly. he just doesn't kill them. 
but he leaves them low for other guys to kill, which is nice. Which Finn is like a mini Jagan. He's a mini Jagan. Oh, finally, start using terms I'm familiar with. I'm making, I'm making fun of you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm being oblivious to it on purpose. All right, here they come. We do need to hurry a little bit. Yeah. Oh, hi. Hello. Speedy. Please, Gonzalez. Ira, please don't kill me, Ira. <laughs> oh my god, I just realized if Dio attacks Ira, he steals her goal. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd rather do half it than Ira. There is a conversation, I think, where Beowulf, when he talks to Sigurd, he, like, asks for 10,000 yeah. gold, which is actually can be kind of nice, because you transfer 10,000 gold from Sigurd to Beowulf. I think Beowulf... Oh, he takes 10,000 from anyone who recruits him. All right, that, yes, he can talk to Sigurd to not... Uh, beg for gold. That's how it works. Or is it Lacus? Uh -huh. It's Lacus who can recruit him for without money. There's one unit that can uh, talk no, to him. No, there isn't. You're confused with Lurishell, I think. I swear to God, there is a way to talk to Beowulf without paying money. I think Lacus nope. can do it. No. Nope. You sure? I mean, I've never tried it, but I don't think there is. I think because he recognizes her and he goes like, hello! I think well, so. Well, like, Lacus and Beowulf have a conversation after Beowulf has joined. Right. And that gives Lacus his stats. Yeah. Hey, wow, wow. Actually, really good level up. Defense. That's, he, he doesn't get one shot at wait. Could the command? I think the commander could have killed him. Yeah, the commander one shots him. <laughs> oh, did the commander go for him? He did. Oh, okay. Please, so Ira, don't him. kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill. <laughs> Please don't kill me, Ira. <laughs> Please don't kill. Yeah, she talks now. Yeah. Genoa has fallen to Grand Whale. No, I must get to Shannon. Kill Arden. Kill Arden. Yes. Oh, oh thank fucking Lucky. god. So yeah, now this happens. Does Granwell think it really can just waltz into Verdane with such a tiny force? How adorable. Men, here's our chance. Evans is ripe for plucking, and then it's straight for the Granwell border. We're Augustria, we're douchebags. Is that. No, that's the Herheim army. Lord Elegant won't like this. Okay, bye. I'm gonna cover them. <laughs> Suddenly, this guy moves. We're gonna the... cover it. <laughs> yeah, what a good border guard. They're all the way. I guess he's a green unit in heart after all. He really is. So, yeah, there should be a spot where only Elliot can attack. I hope so for your oh, sake. Wow, so I no. don't think there is. Yeah. Um, I might have. Well, I think maybe it happens next turn, but it happens. I think so too. They always do the same thing this turn, I think. Yeah, I think what, he attacks, and then he usually ends up here, I think. And then yeah. Azel can go and kill him. I think that's how it works. So. Anyway, we're I don't think it kills him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, we'll be right back. So uh, yeah, let's uh, continue. So the Cross Knights have arrived, and uh, so this guy, I'll have this guy go for a cell. Now, I, I watched a video. Elliot, he has a chance of sometimes ending up here. Not not always, but he does it occasionally, depending on how much damage he takes. And it's a little bit of a random factor to it too. Yeah, because the yellows. Are he appeared this turn, right? Before your turn. Yeah. So this guy will go for a cell, and a cell will probably kill him. And then if I'm you lucky. Check the numbers on that. <laughs> uh, I know he will. Zelda's 19. This guy has zero okay. resistance. Yeah. So yeah. They're pretty weak. But yeah, if I'm lucky, Elliot ends up here and I get a boss kill. If not, I could just get but, one generic move. But, 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 but. If a cell gets weakened by the guy, and Elliot has a javelin, doesn't the cell die on a counterattack? That's a very good point. Um, I more here. Also, hmm. also, if Azel takes no. damage from the knight, no, 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 no. Azel one shots him. Cause this guy gets punched by a lot of the cross knights. He he oh. he, o he only ends up here if he takes a lot of damage. Otherwise, okay. he stays. So um, but and... that, that, at that point, Azel can one shot him. And Azel is never, like, going to be facing more people on enemy phase, no matter what. No. <laughs> okay. And uh, I'm going to put Sigurd here so he can talk to Ira next turn. Now, I... Ira will not talk to you. you I know, know I know, but I want her to end up here so she can enter the castle on the next turn. Uh, do you know what she does if she reaches the castle? She destroys it. <laughs> she destroys it. It's great. It's so like, we're shot on... <laughs> we're shot on... <laughs> I wrecked the whole castle. I can't find Shannon anywhere. That's a very angry There's woman. There's people in third world countries where there's like an earthquake and they have to dig people from underneath. <laughs> and she's like, let me just make it a little bit more difficult for myself. Oh my god, you can get a kill. Yeah, I know. I imagine that Ira goes in, she destroys the castle first, and then she's like, where's Shannon? <laughs> yeah. 
You're you're very gutsy. I like I I've still got that time on my mind where Ira attacked one of my units. When um, she was in this mode. I am very so. sure she doesn't. I think like, she ol I, she I, only does it if you block her castle. I read a little bit about her AI. You. I don't know exactly how, but if you if there's too many enemies between her and the castle, she'll attack you. But if she has a clear path to the castle, she will. I'm not okay. exactly sure why it works that way, but it does. So, uh, I'm actually going to leave this commander alive, but I'm going to bonk him a little bit with Alec. Oh, you want to get more reinforcements? Yeah. Interesting. Because, um... Wait, no. Alec is fine here. Yeah, he survives, but you got to kill everything else that's near. Oh, and I, if he hit I Alec, he also would have been like quite injured. Yeah, Arden can actually... Actually, I'm not sure if Arden kills this guy. He probably doesn't. No, he doesn't. Bam. Arden's so Very bad. Close. Uh, if Ethlin weaks him, we can him again, he can do it. I need Ethlin to heal this turn. I mean, do you? How many injured people do you have? Uh, so you got two healers now. I do have two healers. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I'm gonna put Noish here, and I'm gonna heal Noish with Aiden. I, I need to box Aiden in. Because um, I don't I want... I mean, she can take one hit if she really needs to. Just not from the commander, maybe. That's why I need to box her in. I plan you to kill... can also box in the commander, though. That might be easier. I could, but I want to make my way down here without spending four of my units behind here. Fine. I'm planning on letting Arden kill the guy, eventually. <laughs> well, he's not going to suicide on Arden, so... No. Oh, never mind. Also, Arden actually kill. he killed him. I, I, I manx mapped. <laughs> I didn't even bother ma mathing, but I should, probably. <laughs> you probably should, yeah. So I'm going to send Quan down I here. Should, I should manx more. <laughs> you should manx more. So... One goes here. Uh, yeah, we've actually killed them all, so that's nice. Can you, I think you can still surround him if you want to. I intend to. The most important part is I keep. Uh, I should just keep my deer next to Aiden. Dude needs to be out of range of him for sure. Nope, he takes a hit. He got a defense. Oh, remember? Right. That's right. He got lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got lucky. Actually, I don't think Dude is like a very bad defense growth. Isn't it like 40% because he has like 40% in all? Dude areas. has really good growths overall, so he is. Yeah. Uh, don't count the guy out. Yeah, I think that makes him like that's part of what makes him so overrated as a parent. I don't think his growth matter all that much for him or his kids. And I think Soul's garbage. It's <laughs> like a, a skill in general in this game, but especially for new kids, no matter who they are. I do think that people on average focuses a little bit too much on growths, yeah, when it comes to do. I'm not gonna In general in Fire Emblem, period. <laughs> I mean people when people wanna make good kids, they always think like, oh wow, what a I want good growth rates. That I know the first time I played FE4 with my friend, that's what mm -hmm. we thought about. We were like, how can we get the highest growth rates ever? That was all we cared about. Like, mm -hmm. So we would only look at the numbers. And it's like, yeah, on, on paper, this seems the wisest thing to do. Because you're like, I'm going to be leveling up my kids and I want them to have good stats. <laughs> good job, Quan. We actually want to look very little at stats. Because you also can't really change their base stats very much. Unless it's like very extreme cases. But even yeah. for growth. If I remember... Especially for the other kid. Like, if you're talking about fathers and you're like looking at how good the daughter is. They get like half the dad's growth. That's like so little. That means for them to be like a 10% difference in growth, which isn't even significant. You'd need like... I said 20, right? So that means... I said 10, you need like a 20% difference in stats. That's like huge. If I remember correctly, the amount of bases you transfer down to your kids is for every 10 you have in a stat, you transfer one base. So you have 20 strength, you transfer two strength to your kid. Not quite. Um, it actually depends on how many stats they've gained over their class bases. Ah. What's and then this? it's like a super It's like a super weird formula. Erheim's army is marching on Evans. Ugh, I should have known Elliot couldn't just keep his nose out of this. Take care of the castle, all ruckuses. Sigurd is in dire need of my help. Of course, brother. Please do all you can to help Sir Sigurd. Right. Cross knights, move out! Our foe is the Herhine army. I don't expect a challenge, but stay alert nonetheless. Elchum BMing. I'm a green unit. I'm a gross unit. Elliot, ambushing them like a common thief, are you? A cowardly act, ill befitting the honor of a knight. Withdraw immediately or I will take action. We both know you're no match for me. What's this? Eldigan? I should have known you would side with Granvale. I'm doing... Oh, in doing this you are crossing not just Granvale, nor me, but your very liege. We bow, bow to the reverend King Imka, who desires on, only peace with Granvale. Would you truly cross his majesty? You fool. Only you would still seriously heed that senile old fool's word. 
The lords of Augustria are united against both Granvale and any peace with them. Wrong. <laughs> For I will not stand with you. Augustria cannot afford the crippling toils of war, and nor can Granvale. Our past stands as a testament to this. Learn well, Elliot. We, the nobility, know not the suffering brought by war. War cripples only the powerless, our subjects. I will not abide by your lust for glory at the expense of our people. A petty, a pretty little speech, but that won't save you now. I knew all along, you and I were always fated to clash, Eldigan. Hmm. Take a look at their portraits and guess who might win this duel. <laughs> I'll go for the guy with anime hair. <laughs> they seem to like beating good guys, always. Today we settle this once and for all. Men, the enemy's now. How's Noidon, no or Nordion? I want Eldigan's head on a platter. Hmm. Good luck with that one. Good luck with that one. So yeah, my favorite part of FE4, green unit Yay. battles. This one is not that long, you don't even have to wait for it per se, because it doesn't impede your progress, so I don't mind this one too much. And it's fun to watch the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can't even check your stats yet, so you don't know how much of a freaking freaking lopsided battle it is. I think it's level 15 units versus level 1 unit. Yeah, I think it might even level 20, but yeah, it's a huge difference. And they're level 1. Yeah, so these are the Cross Knights under Eldigan. Eldigan's the guy we saw at the start of this uh, map. He's a good friend of Sigurd and Quan. And uh, Major Hazul, no Holy Blood guy. He's gotta be pretty nice. I mean, I'm sure we, we don't need to get into any fights with that guy. Nah. He's on our side, see? He's a green unit. Yeah. Chill, we can probably recruit him. There are some really large green unit battles though. Like, the one in Chapter 4 is so long. <laughs> <laughs> that one is fun too, but god damn it, it's so... Oh, nice, Elliot took damage. Oh. The more damage Elliot takes, the bigger the chance is that he'll run all the way back. So I really like that. Oh, it doesn't look like he took more than one hit. So I don't think your yeah, Azel can one-shot him now. Eh... He likes it... to attack in melee, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, they still play. have their own phase, that's right. Yeah, they do, and... Um, why would they attack at... Close range, though. Well, I, I guess the other guys, they all have javelins, too. So. They do. Yeah. So, uh... That, you will that, get countered, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that guy goes for a cell. That's good. Yeah, I mean, this, this is, like, experience that you wouldn't normally be able to get. Yeah. It's not, it's it not much. But it's, it's yeah. Not... It's two level one units for a cell. <laughs> it's, it's not much. You don't even get extra for killing the boss, remember that. I know he's, al he's also level one. I mean, it's, an, it's not much, but I'll take any extra experience where I can get it. Mm -hmm. Maybe I would have gotten like, yeah, sure, I could have had a solo walk with the other guys, but they're like, I feel like my army can kill all the units that they're well enough. Yeah. And 20 experience? I, like I mean, it's 20 experience. I mean, a little, little, little bit here, a little bit there. Yeah. But again, this is all worthless if you don't, like, keep the big picture straight. You can do, like, all the micro magic, funny little strats all you want, but... You just need to get stuff right in general. I think the LTC run, for example, got, like, everyone through the arena in Chapter 1. Mm, Everyone, but that, that one was RNG abuse too. I, I will yeah, say. Yeah, that's that's the thing. I see it like LTC runs use a lot of RNG abuse. No, not all of them. Okay, not don't like don't say all of them use RNG abuse. That's just wrong. Maybe not. Well, some of them do. All right, take damage. Yes, take oh damage. God. Yes, yes. Wow, if that guy didn't dodge, he now run back, run back, run back. Fuck, he didn't do it. Oh whatever. Maybe you can reach another guy though. Maybe, but uh, I still can't take more than one hit. So anyway. But... Don't they get massacred next turn though? Oh right, you're right. They do. Uh, who moves first again? Is it the Cross Knights? It yeah, the Cross they Knights. move first. Oh, Lady Ira, Prince Shannon is safe with us. You need to keep fighting. What? You saved Shannon? Do you speak the truth? I do. Prince Shannon told me everything. That you're the daughter of the late Isaacian King. Listen, you detest Granvalians. You made your hostility perfectly clear. But you can't neglect your duty to the prince. You can't afford to waste your life now. Not on a battle as senseless as this. My brother, the Crown Prince, entrusted Shannon to my care, knowing that his death was inevitable. You're right. After all this time, I refuse to die for Verdane's sake. Until I've seen Shannon rise to the Asakian throne, my life is not mine to forfeit to such dogs. I will aid you if I can, if you lower your swords. On my honor of the heir of Baldur the Crusader, I swear I will not betray you. Very well. I place my trust in you as well. Such is the way of my the warriors of Isaac. For now, I pledge my blade in your service. However, this does not change that Granvale is my foe. Beware, for if one day that includes you, I will not hesitate. Hmm, war can truly be cruel. Ira, a Sakian warrior. I pray that day never comes. Alright. Let's take a look at Ira! Hey, it's a unit. Big fan like favorites this. right here. Ira might just be one of the most popular genealogy characters. 
mainly because, I don't know, she's pretty, I guess. Sword Myrmidon female. Yeah, people like Sword Myrmidons a lot. And uh, Iris, like, you know, we're gonna repeat this a lot, but Iris, like, the perfect combat unit, except for the fact that she lacks a mount. Like, she has everything she needs to kill enemies horribly, but she doesn't have a mount. And that, that is a recurring trend you will see with a lot of Footlock characters, especially when we get later. Aside from that, though, I really like Ira. She has really good bases. I mean, 17 speed is really good. She pretty much doubles everything. She comes with Pursuit, uh, Nihil, same as Alec. Doesn't really help her all that much, though. But, of course, she is the first character in the series to come with the beloved Astra skill. Fans of the franchise probably know what this does. Has a chance to proc... She attacks five times, pretty much. If she has a hero sword, she attacks ten times. <laughs> Everything will die. <laughs> I don't think anything will survive an Astra Brave Sword. Maybe like a Baron. Uh, which... Doesn't Astra would proc like on one of the hits of a Brave Sword, and then the other one will independently maybe proc Astra? No. Uh, how it works is that if you have a Brave Sword equipped and Astra procs, you'll do ten attacks. Interesting. I've never seen this. If not, no. It's that's how that's how it works. Okay. Uh, and and if you have a re regular weapon uh, affected, then it, you get five attacks. But you can't proc adept or any other sword skills during this time. Nor can you proc charge if you happen to have that. Um, we Pretty sure you can proc charge afterwards. You can. Like between battles. You can, but you can't proc it during an, uh, an Astra. No, like, of course not. Uh, Ira does <laughs> have a charge works. <laughs> uh, aside from not having a mount, though, Ira is a little bit frail. I mean, seven defense, not that great. She she's not a unit you can just leave out on the front lines. She's good against axe users because of genealogies in same weapon triangle, but it's gonna be a lot of lance users coming up in the next chapters, and um, I at least find that Ira tends to crumble pretty quickly on the front lines if you just leave her out there. She's amazing in the arena. She usually clears the entire gauntlet. We're gonna send her in there now for fun. But uh, yeah, I I was a little bit unsure what to rate Ira. I think I'm gonna end up giving her three out of five stars. Like, good combat can only get you so far, she'll often end up behind enemy lines, and since enemies in FE4 move in regiments, it's very dangerous to send her into close combat unless you know you can wipe out the entire regiment. And yeah, sure, she can kill one unit pretty effectively, but if you don't kill the other units, I find that she'll often die. Very fair. I... I, I just want I, I agree with most of what you said. There's one thing I disagree with, and that's that Ira's stats combat and like it's like overall good. Right now, actually, I think her offense isn't even that good. That's my one of my bigger problems with her, and something that, that doesn't get addressed very much. Yes, she has pursuit, and yes, she has Astra, but her strength is not good enough to two kill enemies, and Astra is not reliable. It has like a skill percent chance to activate. So right now it's like 60%. So her chance to activate it like once in a battle where she doubles is not even 50%. So most of the time, she will not one-round the enemy, and she can use the Silver Sword, but I don't think she has the strength to one-round with it. Like, Sigurd is barely one-rounding with it, and he has, like, five more strength than she does, so... There's no way Ira one-rounds reliably with any weapon he has right now. So you gotta wait until you get the Hero Sword in Chapter 3, and... Anyone can one-round with the Hero Sword. A lot of people think it's hers, because she's the one who gets it in the conversation, but you can sell it oh, and yeah. give it to someone else. Oh, yeah. So, it's really not her personal weapon. People always somehow grant it to Ira for free, but it is not. And the same goes for something like the Leg Ring. Yeah, you can use that to fix her movement, but anyone can use that to fix their movement. So either we can compare Ira to everyone when everyone has a leg ring or no one has it. But Ira does not get to have the leg ring for free. That just not how it works. That is not how you can compare the units. So two things that people often give to Ira, the hero sword and leg ring, do not belong to Ira. They work for her, but they work for everyone else too. And without those tools, I think Ira is very mediocre overall. After promotion, uh, her offense is mostly fixed and her durability is fine as well. But before that, like I said, her durability is pretty bad and her offense is unreliable. She does like quite a bit of damage, but it's not good enough to like one round things, which if you're a foot unit, that's pretty bad because you already went through the trouble of getting her to the front lines to begin with. And then when she's also not performing all that greatly, that's not that good. And after promotion, she's fine, but so are most units. So I really have trouble giving her credit for that. So I don't like Ira all that much, actually, but like, maybe trigger some people and give her two stars. For now. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't think she's very good, not at all. I, I don't like the food units in general, but their durability and offense are just not that good right now. I generally think Ira is a very overhyped unit. I think there are a lot of people who would ironically rate her four or even five stars. There's the people who think Ira is the best unit in the game. Yeah, sure. I mean, when, when she's in the middle of a meteor sword proc and she just massacres her enemy, yeah, she seems really good. But yeah, it, it, when you have like when you have her in your arena with like a hundred kill your hero sword and she's activating things all the time, but that's overkill. Like, there's only so much offense you need to win. Like at that point, Ira is good, sure, but she's already like with 
two of those things not there, she would still be good. Oh, That's. Prince Ali, <laughs> I would much rather. For Prince Ali. I would much rather that Ira has like, I don't even know, more strength before promotion in exchange for Astra having after promotion or something. Like, yeah. Her after promotion, she's like too good, mm. or like overkill good, and before promotion, she's not good. Enough. Well, you know what? We're a bit injured, so maybe we should take a trip to the arena and get healed up. Yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> if you fail, you can always try again until he misses you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and yeah, nice by the fail. way, to people going like, ooh, 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 no, this does not count as a loss. Let, let me prove it. Let me prove it. Okay, I know, I know a lot. there are people who generally think this. I've seen it. So let's go to the Argery and check her records. Because there are people who think that this treats us a loss. But no, it does not. Getting beaten in the arena has no negative effect. It just puts you down to one HP. And it doesn't even cost you money. There's like Fire Emblem First Arena is the most generous arena in the world. There's no entry fee. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing goes in and gold comes out. And even if you lose, you can just go back in. And if you manage to defeat your opponent, they'll heal you up to full. I mean, seriously, FE4 arenas are so nice. They're so nice. They're the best I mean, arenas. They, they know you're just going to wait a turn and then like to the next level. So they just save you the trouble, which is nice. Yeah. I will say Ira is good at the arena. That is one thing she does very well. So she can usually clear the whole thing. The only thing she might have trouble with is like Lance Armor Knights or something, but even then she can win with just a bit of luck from Astra. Yeah, what I like to do is even when she gets knocked down to one health, you can still send her. Yeah, so she might lose here, but if she procs Meteor Sword or Astra, I'll just call it Astra. I call it Meteor Sword because I'm an old fag. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, like she's she might die here, maybe. Uh, yeah, oh, never mind. I'm Manx. What I like to do is, uh, the Iron Blade is very inaccurate against Lance enemies. I could so sometimes pick, I, I have her buy the Slim Sword. I could pick up the Slim Astra. Sword. It's only 3,000. I think we should do it. Uh, I wouldn't until you need it. Right. Uh, this guy, I think she hits the... Oh, actually, it's nice against this guy, because then she doubles him, I think. Mm, I think she doubles Maybe him. Maybe she does no matter what. I think she doubles him regardless. Yeah, she does. Oh, okay. Her hit is so bad, though. <laughs> yeah, that, that... Oh, there we go. He's dead. The 20% avoid that you get in the arena, I'd say it benefits Ira a lot more most of the time, because she's usually... Uh, no, there's no 2 or N, though, so I don't think it really benefits anyone all that much, particularly. Yeah. Unless they have, like, over 100 hit or avoid or something. Yeah, that's what I mean, though. She's very likely to, at least at higher levels, she has... Yeah, not uh, right now, though. No, no, no. But yeah, I'm she made it past Weissman, and as long as she makes it past Emil, the mage, she should be fine. I think you might want the Stimsword for that one, though. Her hit is so bad, if not... Yeah, Emil has a speed ring, so I might want to go pick up that, because he's scary. I think he has 15 speed. Yeah. In addition, uh, Stimsword Ira is also a really good way to lure Jamka, if this... you're not doing Alec, so... Oh, right, yeah, that's true. Yeah, does Nihil uh, uh, prevent an adept? Uh, it prevents critical from the killer bow, that's it. All oh, right, yeah. That's still worth it. Yeah, jump cuts a can of worms. Like, yeah. We'll talk more but about both, you. Yeah, both have like speed, speed ring Alec and uh, Nihil Ira with the same sword, so. Should be good, options. yeah. Should be good. You can also like, like use uh, Sigurd's leadership if you want. Yeah. Yeah, this guy is. Her is not faster than this guy. He's fast. Speed ring. Can I have that speed ring? That'd be nice. No. Thank God he doesn't have pursuit. If he did. Would have gotten double with the Iron Blade. Yeah, Arena Gladiators never have personal skills. They only have class skills. So the only times you encounter Pursuit are um, versus... Actually, Holden has a skill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, talk. He, he also has luck. I like how it says best of luck, but no Gladiators have luck. I think against Dulls, we want a Blade, because he's a general. Uh, you can make a case for either one. Uh, I'd probably go with the Blade. Because he's beefy. I think the Slim Sir does... Yeah, look at that. Yeah. I mean, the Slim Sword actually has more might than the Iron Sword. It's kind of funny. It does? Yeah, it does. Huh. It's like slightly stronger and more hit. This is better in every way. Less less heavy, too. Right. So, yeah. I mean, uh, now... You I'm also gain 10 to avoid when using the Slim Sword compared to the Iron Blade. So you can try again with the thing. You definitely want her to clear the arena at some point. You might as well do it now, because... She'll be very far away from the castle. Well, I guess she can return her later with that thing, because you want to return spam anyway, so... Yeah, Not a big deal if you I won't could... make it through now. Yeah, as you can see, like... Ah, statistically, she's not going to win this, because she's she will get hit. I could it's speed up time. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do this too often, but I'll show you like a funny thing about FE4. Um, usually, I don't like using the speed up button, but just for the sake of like FE4, this is generally what you do when you want to like beat an arena boss and you don't want to wait. Oh man, FE4 is so much fun. Statistically, she will win eventually. She just needs to proc meteors. See? There we oh go. God. That's how you do it. It's a bit dumb. Uh, yeah. Unless there's like a 0% chance to win. 
you really should do this. You should just uh, speed up and, and fight. I think there's like a threshold where you don't want to do it anymore, because it also costs you weapon users, and eventually you'll run out of money. Yeah, especially if you fight with legendary weapons. But I lost like nothing uh, doing it right now. Like this. Well, when you, when you use legendary weapons, you generally don't lose that often. <laughs> this is true. Uh, so yeah, I want to keep gonna... this guy alive for one more turn. Are you gonna leave only Arden in his range somehow? Um, uh, Arden. It's gonna be tricky to do because Aiden is, I think, right, right next to him. Or wait, it's Medir actually. That's Medir. But yeah, I think I think the reinforcements come out next turn. Uh, they come after the turn after you kill them. So yeah. No, they don't. They come out in intervals. No, they come out nope. every time you kill. They come out in intervals. Oh, fuck off. You're wrong. Well, you just, Where are they now? You saw, you saw like two guys come out after you killed two guys. Where are they now? Okay, they, they don't come as soon as you kill them. They come the enemy phase after the player phase where you No, kill. no one came now. We just ended the turn. No one came. You didn't kill anyone. Yeah. Yes, I did. I opened up like you're wrong, Mecha. You're fine. You're show wrong. Them. We kill we killed a bunch of guys this turn. Uh, and no one came it. out. I think they come every other turn. I'm not sure. Well, I'm, I'm very sure that they are triggered by you killing them. You agree with me? Yeah, 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 yeah. But they don't come out every single turn. I think they come out every other turn. You'll see now. The next turn, they're gonna, we're, we're going to get like a bunch of them. They don't come every turn. I don't exactly know what triggers it. You know, there are... it, can't be, it, it can't be bad plays because you make those every turn. <laughs> there are a few things that make you more angry than me insinuating you're wrong in anything <laughs> fire related. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the it's like it's like I feel like I'm 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 sinning against the religion. It's like oh, <laughs> how dare you? How dare you assume I'm wrong? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we will I'm not gonna bet any points on it though. No, no, no. I, I know a lot about this game, but the super obscure things that you've oh. gone through the trouble of looking up or something or like experimenting, I'm not gonna bet against Oh that. yeah, you know in Radiant Dawn we actually ended up tying. I just minus mapped the recordings. Yeah. I'm not sure if you saw it, but yeah. I forgot to give you I, I forgot to give you two points for the guys you guessed right. I just gave myself two points. Yeah, they were in there, but yeah, okay, yeah, makes sense. So we actually tied in Radiant Dawn. Yeah. Damn it. Uh, that means does that mean I win if you don't S rank this game or something? I don't know, but like that's, that's my prediction for this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so good. Oh, that's like I really want to S rank this game now. You have no idea how oh, bad. Good the max is A A A. Oh, oh. <laughs> isn't there in, oh. in, in Tracia? Isn't there like didn't the S rank come out as like an add on or something like that? Uh, yeah, they had like two different versions, but I have no idea exactly what they were. The one is like a PAL version. The one is like a ROM version. I have no idea. Hmm. Weird. Anyway, yeah, good luck with uh, this. <laughs> Why? Oh, right, he's gonna attack Medir and then you can kill with Arden. That's, That's fine, I guess. That was my plan, yeah. That's and, a good plan. And I gotta I heal. I did I did have a lot of time, like, looking at the map before we started recording, so I, I, mapped, yeah. I mapped out my turns. Yeah. You can get the... Maybe you can get the combos next turn with ID. She got two to do. Three, yeah, actually. yeah, yeah, she does, Wait, actually. You already did the Medir one, so two. Yes. Uh, see, so yeah, I think I just want to kill this guy. I mean, we we both agree that Quan needs the kills anyway, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think if you move too close to these guys, they'll start coming at you. Yeah, I think if you're in range of one of them, and maybe if you're like within one space, maybe they'll also try to move for you. Yeah, and I don't think we want both the reinforcements and those guys at the same time. No. That would be bad. So let's just stay back for now. And well, let's stay far back for sure. I think if you moved him close, you could have like javelin chipped and moved back or something. But whatever. That might have been a thing, yeah. Okay, so um, I don't think I can reach them. No, I cannot. So I might as well. They'll get massacred this turn, so I might as well start yeah. walking back. No point in risking things, right? Yeah, true. Mafa face. Yeah, here they come. You hear that? You hear that sound? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, I knew it. I would. It would at least come this turn, even if they didn't come last turn. I guess they take two turns to get ready or something. That, that might be it. That, actually. Yeah, that might actually be true. But yeah, yeah, we just spawned a bunch of extra experience. I think this is important to do occasionally. Uh, yeah, when it doesn't cost you anything else, it's nice. I think I'll clear. I, I think, think it will actually take it will actually take you a turn to get through them because Secret is so far away. He's the only one who won last them. So yeah. But I guess since Secret is far away anyway, in a way, it doesn't hurt you that much. Yeah, and we are letting that village burn down. Uh, we won't get the text, but the, the, you see, you don't get anything special in that dialogue. Or in that village, but that guy burning it down has 5,000 gold. So letting Dew kill him would be better. Oof. Men <laughs> <laughs> retreat. Mark my words. I'm like, this isn't over. I'm gonna retreat right through them, I think. Yeah. Oh, wait. He's gonna walk around them. Well, well done. He will go through them if he has no other choice. 
Yeah. I don't think there's going to be anything left for Azel. Azel. No. But I, I wanted to try it. I saw, I saw someone doing it a speedrun, and I thought it looked yeah. cool, so I wanted to replicate it. But, but you know, with the FE4 AI, it sometimes does random things, even when it's quote-unquote clever. <laughs> but is it more clever than you? Let's see about that. I don't know. Too AI too clever for me. Please nerf. I just feel good playing on clever mode. I don't know. Does it feel good? <laughs> Last episode didn't feel good for you, I think. <laughs> I gotta agree. I gotta admit uh, that my fin strat failing, it hurt me a little bit. Yep. I'm agreeing. Now they're gonna be bored and they're gonna be retreating for a couple turns and they're gone. Yeah.